morning guys I'm out here at Cape Coral Canal System doing a little fishing we're gonna try and catch uh, some snook uh, maybe there's some reds or trout I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to catch in here but we're gonna give her a run in the new rig <laughs> small finesse bait along these edges. Starting her out here. they they don't discriminate all right so there it is she's uh 20 inches on the dot vicious fish so much fun they jump they fight and they just rip top water baits i never learned i just caught a pretty decent snook on top water amazing blow up and of course the battery had died a while back and i just i can't make myself <laughs> change the battery so what i'm doing here though is i'm actually skipping docks for saltwater fish which is i never thought i would do so i'm taking my spook right real shiny color it's actually a saltwater version the spook junior and i'm throwing a little swim bait kind of follow-up bait and they're up in the sh in the shade underneath the docks on the walls you just kind of got to keep your head up we see a little activity fire in there i've got tons of bites i think a lot of them are just smaller fish but i just caught a pretty good snook and there was a big jack following when i reeled them in so I'm just going to go down. I got endless docks to look at and just look for shady areas and throw my top water and don't see other people doing this. Uh, maybe it's something common. Maybe it's there's a lot better ways to catch them than I am today, but I'm having a blast.
Oh, it's a jack. Why? It feels so big. Wink, wink. These things are violent, man. All right, here's our jack. Put up a great fight. These things are so, so violent. <laughs> and they, they just run there so super fast. Probably the fastest fish I've ever caught. Bye-bye, buddy. So cool. I mean, I saw him coming, hunting the bait. He just... You can see him come up, think about it, and then come back and whack it. Okay guys, so just made it in. Had a blast today. Caught a bunch of fish, a lot of cichlids. Um, I caught four snook, caught a jack, caught another random fish. I didn't know what it was. It looked kind of like a bait fish type. Um, but I just wanted to show you my boat. Um, That's my first time really taking it fishing. We've gone on a couple little mini trips, but here it is. Now I've got my nitro uh, for the fresh water in the garage, uh, but the whole point of us moving to Florida um was you know we're gonna be on the water so we're gonna need a boat that kind of fits the whole family so what we got here is the new boat and it is an epic it's a 2014 epic 22 sc model it's got a 200 yamaha on the back there you can see actually flushing out the motor as we speak uh, from the day on the salt water um you know let's take a, a little tour all right so we hop on here's the console uh, nothing special guys it's clean we got the nice elevated seats footrests are handy i've uh, got bluetooth stereo uh, we got a little uh, it's an elite 7 lawrence graph um and then we've got i mean one thing you'll notice is uh you know the decking and the decking uh I don't even know for sure what brand it was. The guy that had it before us had it done. Um, probably C Deck. That's the one I know anyway, but you can kind of see the decking here. It's nice about this is these back here, these are actually jump seats. Right? So, you know, you can we can take eight people on this boat and they can sit comfortably. Got some nice seats, then you got some storage underneath it. But you got that on both sides. We've got storage here. Right, got an anchor, got a rope, battery compartment, another battery compartment with a nice charger in there, another jump seat, and then in the middle is a gigantic live well. Uh, this thing's enormous, uh, bigger than any live well I've ever seen on a boat this size. So there's my actual live well up front. So we obviously got the rod holders here. Um, we've got uh, uh, some more rod storage up on top here and a lighting system we go further up front we've got a front seat here two people can easily sit here and then this is where the bait well is for your live bait got a nice tank aerator the works up front you've got two rod lockers one on either side right now i don't have any rod i don't keep rods in there i have some other stuff some lighting and buoys and stuff we've got a huge center uh, console where I've got some tackle and stuff haven't really set it all up yet we've got anchor storage up front another rod locker here and uh, the trolling motor it's a Minn Kota uh, it's the run of the riptides it's 80 80 pound thrust um, huge deck here's what one thing I really like is we've got this enormous deck easily three people can fish off here maybe even four you know experienced fishermen could fish off this front deck um, you know, it's got no pedal, sorry, it's got no pedal on the trolling motor, which is, 
I thought I was gonna want to switch it, but after using it this this version, um, I'm kind of liking it. It frees up space on the front and it's super easy to use. Just kind of gotta flick it in the right direction every once in a while. Um, and we've got the power pole as well in the back to lock us down. There's all shallow water here. Um, so just hit the power pole button and you're down. But the 200, it pushes this thing around 50. Um, you, you know, the size of boat. Uh, really, that's plenty fast for what we gotta do here. Not racing the tournament spots. It's got plenty of power and gets on plane instantly. Um, here's a, there's a, you can see the jack plate on there as well, which is super nice. It's kind of a must have in Florida when you're driving along and you know, you're in four feet of water, two feet of water, one foot of water before you know it. And it's got 14 inches of drag on the boat, so it can go real shallow. And with the jack plate on there, it really kind of alleviates some of the worry. You can see I've got uh, my rods on there. Some of my rods, uh, just getting into the salt water thing. And this thing's super bright green on the outside. It doesn't really have that feeling when you're in the boat all day, it feels more white. But uh, when you go down, it definitely grabs attention. <laughs> no doubt there. I'm sure not all good, but you come over here, we've got a, a nice ladder, uh, but there it is. You know, I have not fished in almost six weeks just because of holidays. We moved into our new house um, and uh, buying a boat, buying a house, buying new stuff for the house, family in for Christmas. So super happy to um, yeah, be back on the water today. I, I was reminded how much fun, how much I miss it. Thanks for watching guys. We're gonna see videos every week again, uh, starting now and uh i will be out there grinding again on the water and i'll be still be bass fishing quite a bit but i'll be definitely trying to learn how to catch these fish a little better out here on the ocean oh we're lifted all right guys thanks so much for watching and uh we will see you soon